let's see here. NZ dash SH dash 12. Yeah, that's right. Okay, this is the right place then. There's really long hallways in this building. No matter. It's good to be here. You know, it's about time management. It's all my potential. I've been working in these factories for 20 years and never really moved up until now. I was on the verge of quitting, you know, a couple more years of waiting around. Now we're here, I get to manage my own factory. And, uh, it's a little strange to say the least. Managers never really came down to the floor, so never got to meet any of them, but yeah, it'll be a little different up here. Is that music coming from inside? Nah, whatever, I gotta clock in real quick. And let's see what we got going on here. Oh wow, quite the quite the scenario. Man, this place is huge. And I have to deliver all my own materials. Hmm. That's new. Well, so I'll get started. Can't build anything without any materials. Then conveyor belt. Got it. Well, it's kind of just like the old days, huh? It just produces on its own. Man, this company always with their proprietary type never let us see the, the specs of the thing because, man, I'm really curious how these little extruders work. wonder if there's a uh, little people in there or something. Hauling up the, the materials out of the ground. Whatever these little things are. You know, I never really stopped to look. I would just assume they were like concrete or something. Kind of have to pour concrete. Hmm. Maybe they're just very nice, nicely cut stones. All right, that's our first order done. Thirty uh, round stones out of the ground, I guess. It's kind of hard to see from way up here, but let's see here. Now they want just the left half circles. Man, those orders came in kind of quick. Okay, well, let's see what we can do here. We get one of these in here set up. Should cut that little boy in half. There you go. And, and then we just, I guess we're just throwing away the excess. Well, that's not what we used to do it, but well, whatever. Whatever the ball says, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, you know, this is kind of going a little slow, so let's try and, uh, let's try and speed this up a little bit. If I just rotate it like that, I should be able to get a couple more going in a little quicker. So I don't know about you, but I kind of want this to go a little faster. Now look at me saying, I don't know about you like I'm talking to anybody. That'd be silly. That's the sign of a crazy person. <laughs> and, you know, I'll bear it. I am not a crazy person. No, sir. Oh. Are you telling me they had faster belts and stuff just sitting around waiting for me to, like, I don't know, prove myself? Man, I've served this company for 20 plus years. You'd think they would have, I don't know, at least have a little bit more respect for it. Ah, whatever. Oh, now they want squares oh look conveniently a little tunnel of squares right here might as well get that started too oh, but they're looking for 70 of them that's a little more than before might as well get a couple of these going i do have to say they are delivering these materials way faster than we used to get them back in the day you know, we have to place an order in, like a, a PO type thing, a requisition. Uh, the, the accountant tried to explain it to me once, I got all confused. But then we had to wait, like, days for things to show up. Now, granted, they did tell me this was a uh, more experimental part of the, of the facility. So, maybe they just have uh, all this stuff ready to go. And I just have to, like, order it like I used to, just without the forms. You know, with some of these things like this, 
especially uh, a lot of things in life. It's better just not to think about it too much. I think I'll just keep back for a few while it's finish. Here we go. Now we can move things from one conveyor belt to another. Ah, well, you know, back in my day, we used to have someone that would do that for us. His name was Rupert. You know, he just used his hands like a like a normal person to get things from one place to another. But I guess we got machines for everything now. They're always ticking our gerbs. So let's see here. Uh, we need some right side squares. Right side squares. Alrighty, well, I guess I can get one of these little, uh, one of these little guys to quit doing that. I can put a cutter in here. Face it. Uh huh. What, are you telling me they only make cutters in one direction? Let me check the inventory here. You know what? You're right. They only have them in one direction. Okay. Well, in that case, we gotta get rid of both of these guys. And, uh, sorry, Mr. Extractor. Gotta put you aside for now. Get that starting to cut things. And we only need this guy right here. All right. Now, once again, we would ask Rupert to flip those around for us, but, uh, it's really just me. Now, I really thought moving up as a manager, I would get to manage a few people, you know? Maybe get to haze a couple like they hazed me. You know, one time I remember I showed up for work. It was like my second day. And they had this big old metal plate on the ground. And they said, hey, Barrett, Barrett, come over here for a second. And I said, okay. Never going to shy away from a little bit of duty. And uh, they said, here's a sledgehammer. We're going to go stand over there with the seismic meter. And we need you to help us calibrate it. So you just sit here and hit this thing with your hammer until we tell you to stop. And I said, okay, that sounds like a good plan. Well, lo and behold, I'm swinging my arms around for like two hours, and then they come and ask me what I'm doing, and I'm like, well, I'm calibrating the seismic meter. They said, Barrett, there's no seismic meter. And boy, I just turned red as a tomato right there. Now, look, look what's going on. I, I've been sitting here gabbing on about my past, and my, my factory has stopped working. And what's going on here? take a little look inside of you here real quick oh I see it's all jammed up it's got too many left side squares we don't need those guys right now so no more old Rupert here to help us out so I guess we just dump in the excess it does seem that these little uh, quarries I guess where the stones come out of they're uh, seemingly infinite which is a little weird every quarry I've ever seen is uh, you know they gotta keep digging like that, uh, like that old Minecraft game, you know, sort of infinite, but not really. All right, well, I am getting paid by the hour, but I don't want things to take too long. That reflects bad on me as a uh, when my performance review comes around. So I'm gonna get this, get this working in double time. And you know what? I think I'm gonna sit back for a minute, just just make sure everything's mo moving smooth. Never know when one of these little things can jam up. I mean, remember a couple times back when I worked the floor, we had uh, well, it was Rupert's fault again, actually. Normally, he just moves things from one conveyor belt to another, you know, flipping them around or or turning them. And uh, one time he turned one like diagonal ways and put it into the cutter, the separator, and it came out in this weird old shape that uh. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense when you think about it. But that caused a whole bunch of hullabaloo about safety features and, and all this stuff. Didn't help that the, when the foreman came and talked to him, he didn't have his hard hat on. And that's always a big no no when the foreman comes to tell you tell you what's what. Now look, there I go again, talking a bunch. Oh well you look at that. Finally done enough to get us ourselves, get ourselves a Marvel Rupert. That's nice. So that's perfect because we already have some of these, these uh, half circles now. I guess they're not really left and right anymore. So this one we want top half circles. So we're gonna need to rotate these bad boys. 
right there. I'll rotate you and maybe there we go. Perfect. I'm gonna rotate you guys too. So we need 170 of these guys. But you know what? I bet. I bet you just if we just really think about it just for a moment. I'm gonna cut this right here. Get this going right this way. And then up here. We can get rid of our trash can buddy here. And get ourselves another one. And well, lo and behold, we can't rotate this guy either. Well, we can rotate him, but we can't flip him around. So we will have to do four of these, or three of them, really. All right. It's like Grandma used to say, you know, two wrongs don't make a right, but uh, three lefts do. And right there. That'll speed things up a little bit. Now, look at that. We are cooking with fire now. Or right, cooking with gas, really, I guess it's the expression. All right, this time I'm not gonna gab. I'm just gonna sit and relax, make sure everything is working smooth because we are ahead of schedule, for sure. And there we go. I took myself a little power nap right there. And we have the ability to go underground. Well, that's a new one. I thought these floors were made of concrete. Well, I guess if we're pulling a bunch of stones out of the ground, then the ground's made of stone, but doesn't that mean I'm also digging under the stone? Let me see how these things work. Give me, give me a second here. Because if I think about it logically, there's no way this takes us under the ground and then back up under the top of the ground. I'll be. Look at that thing. That's crazy. Talk about experimental. Well, well I've got a little notification on the console here. What's that thing say right there? upgrade oh look at that i guess maybe they didn't have the upgrades ready for us and just holding us back to improve ourselves that'd be kind of silly like i thought maybe they just needed all the materials takes a lot of stone squares to to help us get more stone squares out of the ground i guess <laughs> that's all right now let's see here we need a bunch of up uh, right i guess just single single uh or section of a circle there. That's fine. Uh, we can probably figure that out here, but we need uh, a little bit more space. So, you know what? I'm going to do something my, my foreman told me I probably should never do. Go ahead and reset all this stuff. Just don't worry. We, we'll put it all in storage for now. We get done as long as we, we finish before he gets back. You know what I mean? I won't say anything if you won't say anything. You know? There I go talking like you're my person again. I, I promise you I'm not crazy. Let's see here. We want to go ahead and cut that be. We need to cut these into quarters. And when I, you know, when I was a little kid, my uh, my aunt taught me a little trick. She was she was so proud of me for learning this vocabulary so early. She said, "You can take your Jello, Barrett. Take a Jello, and you cut it in half, and turn it, and cut it in half again." That is called perpendicular. Yeah. I think that's kind of like what we're doing here. Now, I think I need a little bit more space here. Get that one up in there. Is it cutting straight? Oh, look at that. I done pulled a Rupert. You put it in the wrong way. Let me make sure we got it rotated first. Can I get that rotated? And then this one probably also needs to be rotated. Okay. Gotta move this guy up just a little bit more. One more square. Get this guy going right here. Because we need to rotate him before they go in there. And then we'll see what we end up with. Perfect. We got two quarters and two quarters. Nice. Alright, so now we gotta rotate this bad boy. Get him fed in there. And these guys are all good to go. And then we will need to rotate. Oop. Yeah, let's go this way, and then he needs to be rotated three times. Oh, wait. Lots of spin around. Got ourselves a lot of Ruperts going on. Oh, I'm feeding the wrong ones in there. Uh-oh. Don't mind that. All right, that should do us. And connect that last little bit in there. Perfect. 
Now we are cooking with gas and fire. Which you probably should never do. Oh, that's cooking. We can uh we're gonna take a look at these upgrades, see what else we got going on. Let's see. We got whole squares coming in. We got top right circles coming in. We need some full circles. And some bottom half circles. Or I guess one half we could just rotate, but we can get that started. Already have uh Whole squares going in and half squares. Don't really need those right now anyway, but we need whole circles, that's for sure. Take some whole circles. We're gonna get those coming in just like that. Get started on those, and then we need a bunch of bottom or one half circles rather. So I could take these and just for the sake of it, I'm gonna make sure I got the right ones facing the right. That's the wrong thing there. Let's see, what am I looking for here? The rotator, the Rupert. And then this little guy needs three Ruperts. Get himself on in. You know, when I first walked in here and I was hearing all that music coming in from outside, I was thinking, that's kind of weird they've been playing music in the factory floor, but you know, most of my guys had headphones in. But hell, I haven't had headphones in a few times. So I guess it's kind of nice to have a little bit of ambience going on. But I, uh, I wish they changed up a little bit. You know what I mean? It seems like this track is the same track is looping. But we'll take a look around when I when I leave here today. See if I can figure out anything about these uh, music controls. All right. Well, I couldn't find any music controls, but I guess while I was gone, we got we got our, uh, our order filled in, and it looks like we now we need to paint these little guys. So. Let's see here. We got all the upgrade materials kind of cooking like we need. But now the order is red circles. DCW rotating. I wonder what that means. Do you unlock? Oh, that's probably what we're unlocking next. Gotcha. Okay, well, we do have a little painter machine now. Let's see what this guy's working with. So... Let's see. Paint goes in that way. And things go in this way. So we need red circles. Well, that's kind of an inconveniently shaped uh, machine there, isn't it? Because our red's over here on the right, but circles are over there on the left. And I cannot flip this over for some reason. They only made one handed type. Oh, wait. You know what I mean? I. Uh -huh. I'm a little bit blind. Look at that on the right there. Perfect. That's exactly what we need right here. Let's get one of those going. We need a little bit of a red extractor coming in, giving us some nice red color. And then a little bit of bowl circles. Perfect. That should be exactly what we need there. And you know what? I'm thinking we can probably do two of these together if... We feed one in like that. We feed this in like this. And then we get one of these fancy tunnelers to go like that. Oh, it helps if I complete the order, doesn't it? And then, oh, we need the extractor over here. Perfect. That should give us exactly what we need. A little bit of double time going on there. Yes, sir. -y. Now, I did notice that these little guys, these painters, uh, only do one uh, one shape every three seconds, which is kind of crazy. So, if I'm doing my math right, and I'd like to think so because I, I did go to school, you know, three seconds for each one of those things, uh, I guess times two would be one and a half seconds, then times enough to get to this is... I'll be put on the spot now. I can't do my math. 200 seconds? That can't be right. Hold on a second. That's 900 seconds in half. It's 450, which is uh, just about seven and a half minutes. Which is kind of crazy. So I don't know if I want to sit here and wait that long. Maybe we, maybe we save this one for, for tomorrow. 
it is getting kind of close to quitting time. So, yeah, I think I can uh, let this run. As long as it's automated, we'll make sure the alarms are all set. So if anything goes wrong, it pings me. I'll wake up and head right on over here. But otherwise, I'll be back in the morning. Oh, I can't forget to clock out. 